think you know one of the great things about this so far has been the fact that it doesn't take you out of harm's way. You know, motorsport has a has a passion, has a a danger element to it that you know I really enjoy. I revel in that in that idea. I don't want to just because of what's happened to me. I don't want to then just wrap myself in cotton wool for the rest of my life. And I think to be able to go and experience these incredible not only incredible races, but actually the, the, the sort of camaraderie of it has been has been a fantastic way of, of really moving beyond the injury and letting us all realise that it's not going to define the future for us. And you know, now I'm out there talking and working with sponsorships to do inspirational talks and and chat about overcoming the odds. I really think, I suppose it's it's something that's a bit different, and we can really show, demonstrate firsthand to companies, to people, to groups that. We really do know what we're talking about in this aspect, and you know, I'll take you for a moment. We're going to have a look at, at Ben's car from the Dakar, just to show you, you know the level of not only the safety of the vehicles themselves, but actually you know some of the risks that we face because we want to. One of the great things when we were when we were recruiting other team members and, and stuff like that was the the huge amount of interest from from other people, but also an understanding that it was a hell of a commitment. You know, it's not just turn up for a a day, do a bit of driving, go back home. You have to be there, you have to be caring for the vehicles, you have to make the effort to be available to actually understand what you're doing. And and that's something a bit different from, from maybe some of the other activities out there. And we want to encourage people to really get into this, see it as you know, a way to be a part of the profession, to be part of the motorsport community. So Mark Zambon was a great example, Ben's Ben's co-driver. And he's such an inspirational bloke. He lost two legs in a in a bomb. Uh, and sang in, and uh, he he epitomised to me the, the real spirit and pluck of of our servicemen. And you know, he's he's a U.S. Marine, but he climbed Mount Kilimanjaro just 18 months after losing both his legs. I mean, it's incredible. And then he was Ben's co-driver on the Dakar, and such is the sheer arduous nature of the race. Ben had been going really well, and he'd, he'd been trying to recover from some some issues that the vehicle had had, and Unfortunately, they hit a ditch at probably something like 70, 80 miles an hour, and you can see the damage on the frame. It's amazing, really, when you think about it, to have hit a ditch that hard, which flipped the car, and okay, it looked bad, but actually the safety cell where they were is, is fine, it's intact, you know? They're, it's absolutely astonishing. So for those people who think it is unsafe, you know, think again, this isn't as dangerous as horse riding, it's probably not even as dangerous as, uh, as scuba diving. Yeah, it's an incredible uh, race and all the safety and support network is there behind you. you know, there's medics, there's helicopters, there's a full on hospital to treat people. And ha knowing that's in the background, it's kind of like when you're in operations, when you're in Afghanistan or Iraq, you knew that the network, support network was there if the worst went wrong. And when it did go wrong for you know, a number of the team members when, it, when they were in the army or the military, it's, that support network, support network has been there and it's helped them to not only survive the incident but then to, to thrive and to push themselves further beyond what many professionals probably thought was possible. So the more we can keep doing that and the more we can encourage others to, to get into this sport and see it for, for the incredible opportunities it gives you, the fact that you're not in a different class, the fact that you, you, know, you race with everyone else and, that, and that's the important bit, it is a race and it is fun but it's also something you want to do well at. And the more experience, the more we can do, then the more opportunity we can give to other injured and disabled people to, to take part. And I, you know, I really hope that things like this just, just go to show that you know, we do think very carefully about what we do, but at the end of the day, you are pushing the boundaries and you're pushing the extremes, and that kind of defines what race recovery is about.